Before you launch any campaign on Amazon, you should definitely understand this concept of research, peel, stick, and block. It is the way to manage your search terms and your keywords on Amazon. So first, let's talk about some of these goals that we're gonna be getting after today. The first thing that we want to do with this strategy called research, peel, stick, and block is we want long tail keyword discovery. We want to find all of the obscure, high converting, low competition terms that people are searching for our products. And we want to do it in a very time efficient and inexpensive way. The second thing we want to do is actually find the terms that Amazon actually believes is relevant for our product. Uh, and then third, we really want to tap into the very best keyword research tool, period. Uh, and the reason why this is so good, the reason why your own automatic campaigns are so good, because you get real data, real data, real data. Uh, this isn't conjecture, this isn't coming from a keyword research tool, this is coming actually from Amazon with people interacting and engaging with your product. So the way that research, peel, stick, and block works, it's actually very simple. First things first, we start with research. We want Amazon to go out there and basically display our product for terms that it believes is relevant. So every product in your Amazon store should have an automatic campaign visibility. This is going to allow us to tap into all of these really, really long tail terms. I like to think of it like this. Let's say we were selling a jump rope and we sat down and we tried to list all the terms that people would search to find a jump rope. Well, we might type in CrossFit jump rope, exercise jump rope, fitness jump rope, but maybe there's someone living here in Austin where the sun is just beating down every single day and it's 100 degrees plus and they type in jump rope to survive uh, very, very sunny, hot conditions. And we could have never predicted that unless we had an automatic campaign and we were capturing some of that long tail traffic. So once we set this up, we then peel out the terms that convert. We want to peel out the very, very best terms. Uh, so if it gets a conversion, we peel that out and then we stick it into a manual exact. Uh, so a lot of times if I'm launching an account and maybe the budget is a little small or something like that, I'll do exactly this. I start with an auto, let my conversions come in, take out those best terms and then stick it into a manual exact. And then I block it. I block it from my original research campaign as an exact match negative. And the reason why I do this is to funnel and sort of sculpt my traffic the way that I wanted to. This is called negative keyword sculpting, uh, which basically means instead of triggering in my auto campaign where I'm bidding the average for thousands of terms, I want it to show up in my exact match sort of winner circle campaign because I want to bid exactly what this keyword is worth. Because over here, you're just bidding the average on thousands, potentially tens of thousands of terms, which is fine, but you end up bidding the average. We want to bid exactly what this keyword is worth. So that's why we set it over here and then we block it from appearing in the original research campaign. Once you get this down, and you should be doing this, especially if you're new to Amazon PPC, you should be doing this for several weeks, if not several months, and you should always have an automatic research campaign. For those who are a little bit more advanced and wanna kick it up a notch, the next step would be this, to have a manual research as well. This is where you sort of enter your terms as broad and phrase, and a really, really good place to get terms for a broad and phrase is actually from here. So if it converts, you drop it into a winner circle exact match, and you can also throw it back into a research. And it's really, really important here, like I'm sort of labeling all my ad groups, all my campaign names with automatic, exact match winner circle, broad phrase research. So be sure you're labeling your campaigns and your ad groups as you're doing this, which makes life really, really easy. So when you do that, you have broad and phrase, and then you're, you're finding more and more long tail terms. And you can drop in terms from here, from your auto campaign. You can also drop them in just from brainstorming terms that you think will convert. You can also drop them in from some competitive analysis. And you can also drop them from any one of the dozens of keyword research tools out there. But again, the process works the exact same way. If you get a conversion here, and whatever level of performance you have with broad and phrase, it's not for that keyword. It's potentially for thousands of different terms that you're appearing for. So you still wanna do the research peel, stick, and block method. So again, you peel out the best terms, you stick them as a manual exact match, sort of winner circle, and then you block it from here as an exact match negative. This is research peel and stick and block. This is something that should be done perpetually in your Amazon PPC account, and it is the best way to find new keywords and reward the best keywords. This is Mike from Ad Badger. Have a good one.